In this tutorial, we will teach you how to design a beverage ad using effects in Adobe Photoshop. First of all, let's open up a new document, keeping A4 for the size and a transparent background. With that done, let's fill the background with black color, like so. Next, let's name the layer background. Now we will open up the image of a bottle. You can easily find such stock photos by searching at sxc.hu. Once the image has been imported, use the pen tool to make a selection around the bottle and separate it from the background. You can use the polygonal lasso tool for this as well, but for this tutorial we will stick with the pen tool. Once the entire selection has been made, there are many ways in which you can separate the bottle from the background. For this tutorial, we will make an inverse selection by pressing Ctrl I and remove the background. Now let's bring the image in the project we are working on, increase the size and position it right at the center of the canvas. With that done, let's rename the layer to Bottle. To create a reflection of the bottle, we will duplicate the original image. Press Ctrl T to transform the image, right click, and select the Flip Vertically option from the menu. With that done, we will position the image right at the bottom. Next, we will decrease the opacity of the layer to 35% and create a layer mask. With that done, let's pick up the brush tool. And over here, notice that we have black color selected for the fill, which is the same color as that of the background. Now let's carefully remove parts of the bottle at the bottom. You can even change the opacity of the brush tool and apply it a bit over the image to blend it with the background and make it look like a reflection. Once the reflection is created, we will add splash images to the background. All of these images that we will import are stock photos and can be downloaded from the same website, that is sxc.hu. So let's open up the first splash image and bring it on the canvas. Now let's position the layer below the bottle layer and change the blend mode to exclusion. With that done, let's transform the splash image, increasing its size and positioning it behind the bottle. You can play around with the stock photos and add effects in a number of ways. For example, let's duplicate the layer and position it a bit towards the right side like so. Now let's add a layer mask to each of the splash image layer. Pick up the brush tool, having the same color as the background, and apply the brush on the image like so. We will use different sizes for strokes and opacity levels to make the effect more realistic. Keep adding more images and play around with the concept a bit till you're satisfied with the results. This is how the output looks like so far. We have used multiple splash images for this tutorial. Next we will create a new layer and rename it Effects. For this tutorial we will use the Lightstorm brush pack and apply it on the image. You can download this free brush pack from brushlovers.com. For this tutorial, we will choose 578 BBC for the color fill and apply the brush towards the bottom of the bottle using strokes of different sizes. The idea is to follow the pattern of the splashes, so let's duplicate the layer and invert the image. Now let's add a layer mask and remove the excess strokes from top to bottom. With that done, let's go to the blending options and select the outer glow option. Over here, let's change the color to 578 BBC. With that done, let's increase the size to 7 pixels and range to 63%. Now let's add a hue saturation layer and adjust the level of hue so that the overall look becomes green, following the color of the bottle. At the end, let's increase the level of saturation to enhance the brightness. You can test different values to see what looks good on your image. Lastly, we will use the pen tool to create waves around the bottle. Once we have made a selection, we will go to the blending options and add the outer glow effect. Let's change the color to C1F258. With that done, we will increase its spread to 15% and size to 35 pixels. We will use the same object, duplicate it, and transform it to cover the rest of the bottle. Towards the bottom of the bottle, we will use the Type tool to insert the tagline. For this tutorial, we have used Freestyle Script for the font, using white for the font color. At the end, this is what the final output looks like. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.